one of those nuts is missing. Um, so it's a lot of cool stuff. Things got a light in it too. It's a nice yeah. little display. For sure, I like it. It's art. Well, yeah, it's just I guess all the hard work for the starter. six screws from the tail light i'm gonna try to open this trunk because the vacuum system doesn't really work we tried a couple of vacuum lines but they're not holding vacuum so that stuff is uh not working so i gotta go through this first aid kit and take it off so i removed all six using this long extension. I already made a video on it, you guys can see in the description, but I'm helping him right now. We're gonna try and remove this taillight right now. And uh, yeah, I just gotta remove one more bolt, I believe, and we should be good. We'll try to push this taillight in and open the trunk. That's how you break into a 123. <laughs> now it's gonna be another thing to do. Remove the cover from the back. Yeah, so I removed this plastic cover and now I'm trying to find sweet spots I can pop this trunk open in less than 10 minutes <laughs> beautiful there you go <laughs> i mean uh you guys probably seen this video before but i used the same technique like in the video that you guys can see in the description you know of opening this trunk i mean at first we tried to actually you know get under the front passenger carpet and find the vacuum lines but they didn't work so we have to inve investigate that they're actually located under there so we'll have to figure out why um you know, I wasn't able to provide any vacuum and open the trunk that way, you know. But long story short, this, uh, make sure you do not close this right now. I mean, you can close it so you have this out already, but this is the long extension that we have to use, this long one. And then this is the plastic piece that you have to, uh, you know, have to be removed from this side right here. And that's about it. Yeah, but I recommend, like I said, I recommend just uh, getting this brand new from the dealership. It's about 150 bucks and you know, you can, you'll get a new key with it as well. You know, there's, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a triangle, look at that. That's crazy, That's huh? A safety triangle. It's... Is that from this car? I don't know. Interesting. Uh, it doesn't have a holder it though. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, it's kind of, That's cool. It kind of works though. Actually, yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean, it's very similar, you know? Yeah, probably a jumper kit because this car needs one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you just flip that little thing right there. Like that. Yeah, it just, stays on. Yeah. Just like so. Reflective and everything. Good stuff. Oh, a lot of goodies. Oh, that's your badge oh, right the there. Diesel badge. The diesel Shit. is like. <laughs> Every, everything I'm missing. Some cheapy air compressor. Looks like some snow chains. Yeah, awesome. That's awesome. It came with the bunt wheels too. Yeah, well, those cool. are mine because I. Was, oh, gotcha. You I had was those. thinking about swapping them, but mm. I'm gonna keep the hubcaps because cool I, I think with sure. this color, the hubcaps. Yeah. Do it justice. No, it does look really up. good with this. Yeah. In this color and with these. Sweet yeah, this car. is one of those colors that always looks like this when you mm -hmm. find them. Yeah. But, uh, once it cleans up, which. Yeah, like, you know, based on you guys, look at this difference. This you know, Sean already right started polishing this side, and yeah. look at, at the difference. You know, a what a beauty! Ends. It's burnt too. Yeah, it's places, right. but it's not a huge deal. It'll be an improvement for sure. Oh yeah, big improvement. Uh, look at the beautiful interior on this too. Like, look at the nice door panels. 
and you know he's planning to actually like clean it all up in here and you know probably restore the this seat and uh yeah about to show you this right here he's also working on the engine bay doing a power steering flush right that's what you're doing uh sean the, one of the lines. Oh, one of the lines. Just sucking gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, this one here, it's just, you can see it's really Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, that's a return <laughs> hose. That's all of them. Yep, all, all of them are like that. Yep. There. That's for sure. Probably tighten up the alternator. Mm -hmm. um, it, this belt is super loose. Yep, yep. So you can, yeah, you can see it down here. So see if that's, that's the reason awesome. why it keeps dying. Yeah. Um, Did you actually check the voltage while it was running or uh, from? Uh, I haven't yet. Yeah. No. But you know that it's bad. It's something is wrong. wrong Something's, with this. yeah, because yeah. it, it, it'll jump. And then if I drive it around for a while, mm -hmm. it, it will start on its own like mm -hmm. once. Mm -hmm. But then that's it. So, um, yeah, definitely. Good. I mean, battery's good. Yeah. So it's something. Sean, Sean's a really amazing enthusiast and he puts all the love to these amazing cars. So, yeah, yeah, that's this, awesome. This one uh, needs it, but. Yeah, slowly but surely she's control. coming back. Yeah, good. Awesome. Have some fun with it. Exactly. It's going to be so clean and nice at the end. So now I need you to look at this really quick, all right? So you see how it, it connects right there? Just so you know for the future, because I'm about to like separate these two pieces. Okay. All right, so look at this. Let me snap a picture. Yeah, take a picture and then we can take this all the way out. Right. Guys, have you seen rain in California? I've never seen rain in California. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, it, oh, and I love the weather over here. It feels like I'm in Washington state, it really, it's like, it's, weather, it's really yeah. cool. I, I really like it, you know? I thought that uh, Cali was all about like hot weather and, you know, craziness. And palm but, trees, but we actually uh, don't have palm trees right here. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you could be uh, in at least you right have now. some kind of uh, green stuff, you yeah, know, which is nice. It's not yeah. the desert, it's just, Yeah, oh, I, I was in Las Vegas. It was horrible over there. I don't know oh, how yeah. people survived there. Like you try to touch the surface of the car that was sitting outside on a hot day and you're probably gonna like burn yourself. Yeah. yeah, you're not gonna drive around in something like this without AC mm -hmm. either. Like here, I can. I mean, I probably around. would. I mean, just open the windows and you yeah. know survive. Just, hey, just I, keep moving though. Don't yeah, stop. yeah, just keep <laughs> moving. Some airflow, exactly. But yeah, all right. Oh, they did. Stuck something in there. So here's the piece, and Sean is probably gonna order a brand new one from the dealership. But as you can see, it's really messed up inside, and it's like bent too. The somebody tried to do something with it. Someone was probably just trying to force the key. Yeah. Jamming. So we just installed this uh, left rear tail light, all right, and then uh, decided to take this uh, lock cylinder tumbler off for right now. And, uh, you know, Sean will be able to open it up just the way it is right now. There's that thing. It's all bad. So he's going to probably get a new one from the dealership and will come with a new key. And this appears to be like it was from the junkyard because it has some markings yeah, on the blue markings on the back side it's pretty interesting yeah so yeah and uh you know he'll be able to still open this trunk just by doing it right now so we'll try it in a little bit let's try to close it up and check okay and now this just opens up okay closed opened up we can also try to adjust this a little bit and uh yeah but as soon as you get the you know the lock all figured out it'll be a lot easier you know so, yeah big job is done we can put the first aid kit back already we don't need that yeah it had a lot of good parts look it had this thing too the sunshade yeah you can put the sunshade now on <laughs> all the accessories yeah you got a tire inflator yeah, that's, there, there you go <laughs> yeah let's see what else maybe you have like a body under the you know in yeah, this pear trunk know, area or I something <laughs> for sure some vacuum lines yeah extra Not maybe they were trying to figure out the something <laughs> with the vacuum yeah it looks issues like someone or... was trying to do some vacuum yeah. work and then they just <laughs> up, so mm. it's a good time for you to clean all this area now too Nice. Yeah, that's the one part I haven't really gotten into. Oh. All right, Pandora's box. Let's see. <laughs> Get the piece of wheel. It's yeah. Just got the lines on nice. it. Got the jack. So. Yeah, I mean it's all in there. It's that's all good. There. Might be a toolkit hiding down there. <laughs> That'd be nice, huh? <laughs> uh, cool. No, but there 
Uh, there's a there's a there's reducer a right there. Yeah. yeah. Step down. All right. Not not too much rust. Yeah. A little surface, but yeah. Not terrible. Good to clean it up and preserve it. Yeah. With fluid film. <laughs> Only good surprises in the trunk. Yeah, that's good. No bad stuff. That's good. Yeah, because I started doing that. I was like, wait. So what you can do is it's pretty simple. You can actually just put like a big uh, trash bag, yeah. like right under the line, uh, close to where the you know where the uh, engine mount is, and that that trash bag will catch all of it basically. Okay. You know, and, and kind of same thing right here. Yeah. Probably like stick that down there somewhere. Yeah. Or, yeah, if you have like a trash bag, literally, it's, it's a lot simpler. Um, yeah, because the trash bag, it's you can put it in there, and all that stuff is just gonna drip in there. It's not gonna be too much fluid, yeah, just a little. It's probably original from 19, what is it, 83? 83. Yeah, what a pretty car, though. I love the color of this, too. It's so, it's I feel like this color is so rare. You know, they made a 300D turbo diesels too with the same color, but they're also hard to find. Yeah, well, most of them are just so so faded out like this. Yeah. One, so. It will look nice after polishing though. Yeah, a little bit of cleanup, and I mean, it doesn't look like it's it's been in any racks. If you yeah. look down the side of the body, it's yeah. like perfectly. It's straight. amazing, solid car. So uh, yeah, it's got potential. They all do. All these cars must be saved and loved. Yeah, so Sean is about to replace that uh, power steering hose uh, because it's really bad. Look at that. You can, I could probably almost rip it yep, off of there. Exactly. So and then we're going to tighten this alternator as well, the belt. And then we'll see if the battery charge or the charging system comes back to life. Yeah. So the battery, tested the battery, battery's good. Mm -hmm. There was something with the alternator, which again, I don't, I don't think it's bad. I think it may Yeah, I mean, it looks loose. fresh. It yeah. looks uh, like brand new. Like almost. it's not yeah. completely covered in oil. Exactly. So it hasn't been in there too long. Hasn't seen those uh, diesels just yet, you know? It's just still kind of like a virgin, you know? <laughs> yeah, it has a sticker too. Yeah, so Bosch. Well, at least they installed a real, you know, good brand good one, alternator, yeah. you know? Instead of some garbage auto light or something yeah, you know? in the water after yeah. years. Special. autos on special duro last <laughs> we got you covered <laughs> i've come across a few of those <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> i guess they wouldn't last too long <laughs> i'm gonna rebuild it mm -hmm. that one pretty right. solid seat and everything very nice I love how your garage is like so organized and everything. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, my little bar back there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> super cool. Yeah. And books like and manuals. The library. The library, exactly. Amazing. Uh, anyway, so Sean was working on this car. Uh, he he was taking the power steering line off. And then I decided to just look on, you know, around this side, just check this side out. And it's pretty, it's pretty bizarre what we found. Um, I literally just noticed this right now. So if you look at the starter, he's shining the light at the starter. The starter is brand new Bosch starter. As you can see, it's popped out from the housing. So it's pretty insane. And I mean, Sean bought this car not too long ago, right? How long has it been since you uh, had this? It's been a few months. I haven't driven it much. Yeah, but, but you it, said it, he... was, it was starting and driving. Which mm -hmm. is... It was starting and driving, but it's pretty bizarre. Um, I mean, I see some metal shavings right there as well on the block. Um, and if I wiggle this starter right there, like, look, this starter is literally loose in there. Look at this. Like it's not attached. So two bolts on the starter are literally missing. The only thing that's holding the starter from really like popping out is that there's that bracket on the back of the starter motor uh, right there. And it's not even attached properly. There's that bracket right there. 
and uh, it's holding that starter from popping out completely and just those wires that are attached to the starter but it's pretty insane i've never seen something like that before i'm pretty sure sean is also surprised yeah, that's you know? bizarre. it is pretty crazy <laughs> but so we're probably going to take the starter out because we need to we don't have the bolts and we, we need to find the bolts for that starter and the right link bolts too so that will be another thing we have to do <laughs> crazy right yeah. <laughs> So yeah slow. yeah it's just visual inspection sometimes you see people do crazy stuff uh you know not just on these cars but even on new cars out there it's what i've seen is just crazy like some people shouldn't be working on cars at all so you're saying the previous owner probably did that right i mean yeah. if you look at it it has a lot of like scratches on like the transmission bell housing too yeah cause like he was trying like... to do something or align it i don't know i did notice that when i looked down there but... i mean that is pretty crazy and probably you know was doing something with the alternator or tried to replace it and then that's yeah. why it, it, it's pretty loose too yeah which is again, somebody who didn't know what they were doing by the way, Sean has this really awesome M3 Beamer right here too, that I really dig, especially the wheels too. Such a sweet car. How many times the horsepower of this one? Oh yeah, it's probably it's like it. uh, this car times what? I don't two, know. Two very if you cars. If you add maybe what, 10 W123s, that's what makes the horsepower of yeah, that car. <laughs> 60 and that's four, 420. Yeah, so, yeah. 60 ver horsepower versus 420, yeah. This thing is to, uh, sweet. Very different kinds of fun. Yeah. But they're both fun nonetheless. They're both fun, yep. There you go. Nice. There's that. Yeah, now we can find the right hose for it. Yeah, you can put like a glove in there or just like put like some, like yeah. shove something into that line yeah. or, or like a cup. I don't think it's coming out anymore though maybe not yeah I like i said it won't be too much yeah i think it's done it's just like yeah, at the top. yeah they don't look like they are i don't know there we go yeah, yeah they're not see they're not even like screwed in all the way you see that's yeah. probably because the the nuts are not uh factory ones they just they didn't bother finding the correct size nuts oh man Seems like they installed some cooler uh, coolant hoses on it too. Still has a barcode. Yeah. I mean, there was some work done, but mm. not a good maybe way. Maybe it would have been better off without. Just should have not touched the car. I mean, the, the parts there, but yeah. the installation leaves Is. a little. There you go, you got that, huh? in one piece but you know, yeah it was not really threaded into anything there uh well we just want to say hi to someone or a, a guy or whoever was working on this car good job you know <laughs> appreciate all your hard work and good work just leave the hood closed next time yeah next time don't even touch these cars or any other cars Okay, so now we're gonna, we're almost done uh, taking the starter out. Now we're just gonna wait for the jack. So we have to jack up this side. Um, otherwise, uh, the, there's no way to remove the starter. So it, it comes up from the bottom, but once you jack it up, the tie rod will go from this position to this position. So it's gonna be a lot more room to remove the starter. So uh, we're about to do that. And right now we also have to uh, adjust the tension on this alternator and water pump belt. And because it's loose, whoever worked on it before, they didn't know what they were doing. So obviously, obviously, right? That's crazy. How can you install a starter that's like you know not attached? Literally, you just slap some wires on it, and that's it. And you don't even install the mounting bolts. Like it's bizarre. I've never really seen that in my life before. Yeah, I I've don't... seen I've seen some when like people just uh, install the starter instead of installing all three bolts, they install two bolts. 
you know, but I've never seen when there's literally no bolts holding the starter, just the wires, and that's it. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Yeah, I'm surprised the car was. Yeah, I don't know so how like you start, were starting. It that started car. many times. Like right. I was more worried about like, oh, it's not getting charged, and yeah. fear the starter yeah. was hanging on to some wires. couple on top okay and then we're gonna turn this adjustment bolt and that one is we're gonna need a socket for that so this guy you have to be careful Come on. so yeah you basically feel the belt and see how it feels. If you still feel loose, then tighten some more. Um, and you're going clockwise to yeah. tighten it. Yes. And then we'll see, maybe we'll fix your charging problem. We're on a roll. Mm -hmm. better so you don't want to do it too tight you know just a little bit there should still be some deflection on that belt and it is important that you can't just go and start tightening it you do loosen those yep you have to loosen first. the mounting bolts first because then you will break this bracket right here and this yeah. bolt someone told me that said don't just start going on the adjustment oh, yeah. you gotta loosen yep. those up exactly good point a lot of people don't know that Okay, and that's good enough for me. I'm gonna it's tighten snug. those uh, mounting bolts and uh, we'll be done with this adjustment. Pull bolts and that's it. And what size are those? Those are, that's 17. Okay. This one right here is 14. And then the other one is 17 on the bottom. Okay. It's nice, two, four, on the 240D you can get to all this stuff from the top pretty much. On the 300D you would have to go on the bottom to get that bottom bolt loose or snug. Yeah, this one gives you yep. any room to work okay. with. And the last one is that 14. And these you do just till they're tight. You don't need to torque them or anything. Yep, German tight. That's it. It's good. I have to check the belt again. And there you go. That's all, all right. Easy job. Easy bit. Right. We'll take it. <laughs> and yeah, so starter bolts, that hose, and uh, figure out the jack. This thing is sweet. <laughs> yeah, with, with blue the turbo one, blue too. too. It's... Yeah, it's a pre facelift one too. Yeah, it's a '79. Yeah, guys, uh, just so you know, this is a pre facelift uh, wagon, and uh, it has a OM617 turbo installed on this thing. But as you can see, the steering wheel is, uh, you know, pre facelift, and yeah, it's so pretty, you know, and even the old school uh, climate control and. All that stuff. It's a Europa too. I yeah. need the faceplate for it, but it Yeah, it it's works. still it's still really cool, yeah. Uh, it, I, I think they stopped making China blue. This was a 79, so yeah. I think that may have been the last year. Then they made a similar shape. Yeah. They called it something else. Because that 85 is actually uh, like a navy blue color, and this one is a lot lighter. That's pretty yeah. cool though still. I love the color. Yeah, this car, the, the story on it, um, I guess it was pulled behind a big RV for most of its life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, it says 91, it's not turning over, so who knows how many miles are actually Yeah, in it. right, right. But uh, it 
it sat in the backyard up in the valley for 20 years. It sat for 20 years. Rats had eaten the seeds, like the paint was completely shot. Um, the engine was no good, which is why it now has a turbo in it. Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, the, the guy I bought it from, you know, he brought it back to life. And, yeah, um, that's awesome. You know, it needs a few little things. But yeah, but you're taking care of this amazing car. You're making it better, better and better. You know, that's awesome. Yeah. Great stuff. It's worth it. Oh, they all do. They all are. But, um, I mean, it, it, it was a California car, so at yeah. least the underside, the frame, and everything, that's good. It's mostly just body rust. So we just came back from the store um, when we got a couple parts. We have um, a new power steering hose that he's actually cutting off and he's gonna install it. And then um, as far as the starter, we didn't, we were, we were not able to get the starter bolts, the correct ones. So we're just gonna use these bolts along with some uh, nuts right here, uh, just uh, as a temporary repair so we can hold the starter in and uh, later on he will actually get uh, the correct uh, hardware for this stuff and he'll reattach everything all right so what we ended up doing today is uh tighten the alternator replaced uh sean replaced this uh power steering hose and topped off the fluid so that's that should be all good to go and um you know this starter problem uh unfortunately the bolts um and nuts um did not work so what i ended up doing it's just basically a temporary repair i ended up zip tying the starter right there um it has like a zip tie on top and bottom the heavy duty one so it's just mainly for a couple of days so he can move the car in and out and then he will get the actual factory bolts for it uh, because this is pretty crazy at least it's a good thing that we uh you know noticed that <laughs> and uh it, good thing a really good thing is that that uh, starter that was loose did not damage the flywheel and that's really important stuff so yeah we're about to start it up and see how she runs and you know maybe we actually have the uh you know alternator charge the you know battery already so we'll see maybe already maybe it's gonna come alive because the alternator looks fresh so we'll check on that let's see yeah double a couple more checks oil is good right oil good yeah oil's good nothing is in the way here everything is out of the way all the tools okay yeah let's nothing try here, nothing, in the way. nothing in the way all right so yeah let's see how, how she starts see what happens. Oh, nothing? Nothing. Let's try again. Maybe this, the battery is just low or something, you know? Huh. I feel like the battery is probably just some a little low. Yeah. Try. Uh, let's see. Try to put try this on the... Un, yeah. Let's see. We could do it. Because I think you need a gre just the green light on there, too. And it's... Okay, it's doing something. You're leaving some oil.
Yeah. See if you can shut her off. It's not too bad. It's just like a drip over there. Is it? Oh, the power steering? Yeah, power steering. Okay, yeah, I, I just I replaced the power steering hose on it too, so just doing a few little things. Uh, we, we, we tightened up the alternator, so I'll see if that makes a difference. Uh, oh, we, we got into the trunk, so... <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, a little, little trick that, that he does, um, pop the tail light out, but actually save the tail light. So, um, Dude, throw that. a really, really long extension through the first aid hole to unbolt the tail light and then was actually able to get in there that way. Awesome. I appreciate you, John. So, cool stuff. Yeah, you'll just get the bolts and other stuff, and this yeah. car will be happy. Yeah. All right, guys. So, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video today that we did with Sean. You know, we had so much fun fixing this 240D, yeah. you know. And, uh, you yeah, know, did a bunch of things. You know, got the trunk opened up and removed the, you know, there you go. There removed go. the, discovered a lot of goodies inside and things like that. And, you know, uh, fixed up, uh, tightened up the alternator belt and discovered a, a loose starter motor. <laughs> so that's going to get fixed too. He's waiting on a couple of bolts here and there. And yeah, he replaced the power steering hose, uh, topped off the power steering fluid. So just good stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video series and don't forget to save classic cars. Peace. All of them. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>